Okay, so good morning everyone. Uh, it is unlikely na hindi tayo makikita-kita ngayon linggong ito kasi sa naulan, but we have to continue. So we are on the week 5 of our statistics and probability and now we'll be having sampling. Okay po, so another um, topic na naman ito, iba na sa last time which is our normal curve. This what this time we is we are now in something. So we are on the papunta na tayo sa research uh, part natin. So when we talk about sa, sa, sa sampling, meron tayong dalawang mahalagang idea na kailangan alamin. It's the population and the sample. So anong pinagkaiba ng dalawa? When we talk about population, the population is the uh, lahat ng lahat ng pinag-uusapan natin sa isang set all elements of a set so kung ang pinag-uusapan natin ay babae lahat ng babae ay kasama doon okay po but when we talk about sample it is the subset of the population it is just a part of the population ibig sabihin um parte lang siya ibig um Maaring, so kunyari, babae ang pinag-uusapan natin, mga babae edad na 12 to 14, so that is just a sample, a part of a population. Okay po, when we talk about population, buo, at ang sample naman ay yung mas malita parte. Kung ang population ng buktong na pulo, our, your section is just a sample of, those, of that population. Okay po. So, in order to get data, definitely we have to go with sampling. So, pwede naman gawin natin na buong population ang ating pong kuhanan ng data, but that will be mahirap-hirap um, kung lalo, lalo na kunyari po ang, ang sample na, ang population natin ay buong Pilipinas, medyo mahirap yung kuhunan ng data lahat. So, kaya tayo magkakaroon ng sampling para ma-represent natin ang mga, mga tao na hindi natin kailangan kuhanin ang lahat. Okay. There are two types of sampling. There is a probability sampling and non-probability sampling. What we call what do, what's the difference between probability and non-probability? When we talk about probability sampling, it involves random choosing, random picking of our sample. Well, non-probability is it does not um, need a uh, a random ano random choosing. Papakita natin namaya paano ano pa ibig sabihin ng random choosing sa probability sa non, uh, sa hindi kailangan ng random choosing sa non probability. Um let's have next uh let's go first with the types of probability in a probability sampling. So we have the simple random sampling, we have the systematic sampling, stratified and cluster. So apat na different na uh, way of sampling method yan. So ano ang pinagkaiba-iba ng mga yan? The first one is the simple random sampling. It is simply, pagsasamasamahin mo lang at bubun tayo. Uh, kung sino mabunot siya. So without bias. So nangyari, katulad na lang nito, sa loob ng box, nandun lahat ng pangalan, ang kailangan mo ng tatlong samples. So pipili, uh, without bias, uh, lahat sila, pare-pareha on chance na mabunot, then ipipik mo lang. That simple random sampling. Walang bias, lahat may pagkakataong mabunot. Okay? When we talk about naman systematic way of random something, um, ito naman yung may sistema ng pagkuha. Example nga natin ay itong ano, um, bibigyan mo ng number ang lahat. Kunyari, bibigyan mo ng number ang lahat. Kunyari, 30 kayo sa loob ng, ng class, kung 30 kayo sa loob ng classroom, lahat yun may assign number. Example, kailangan mo lang ng anim, anim na representative. So, ang gagawin mo, gagawa ka ng number. Example, kailangan mo lang ng um, by counts of 5. So, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, anim na yun. So, anim, yung anim na yun ang magre-representa. So, may sistema ka ng pagkuha ng, uh, ng sample mo. Okay? Dahil may sinusunod kang numbering. Ganun. Okay? May sistema. When we talk about naman stratified, the stratified random something at saka po ang cluster something halos magkapareho sila. Um, the, when we talk about stratified and cluster, pareho silang igugrupo. Example, ang buong population nito ay eh, hatiin mo sa apat. That's, uh, that's, pag hinati mo sa apat, doon lang magkakaiba-iba ng magkakaiba-iba ng paraan may, ng paraan ang, ang stratified at sa ang, ang cluster. Pareho silang nakagrupo, pero pa sa stratified. Example, 
um, may kukuhanin ka sa loob ng bawat grupo. Okay po, ay nakarasyo. Kung ang kung grupo yun ay maliit lang, so kanyari isa lang kukunin, kukunin natin doon. So by random sampling, kukuha doon sa grupo na yun. Then sa other group, kanyari medyo mas malaki, dalawang representative naman yun. So kukuha, by random sampling ulit, kukuha ko ulit ng dalawa. Hanggang makuha na mo lahat ng sample, uh, ng lahat ng grupo. That is ratified. Example nga nito, uh, pantay-pantay naman yung A, class A, class B, class C, at class D. Um, hinati sila sa apat na grupo. Dahil pantay-pantay naman sila, so naka-ratio tayo ang kailangan bitig na dalawa. Kumuha lang sila ng dalawa sa class A, dalawa sa class B, dalawa sa class C, at dalawa sa class D. So lahat ng class may representative. But the difference with, with cluster, Yes po, ginuro po natin sila into, to, into gr different groups. Example na, na dito, yung uh, ginuro po niyan sa lima, sa limang cluster. So, tiga apat bawat cluster. Pero ang ginawa niya, hindi siya kumuha sa bawat grupo, kundi example, kinuha niya lang yung unang, yung unang group at saka yung last group. So, ibig sabihin, that represents the group. Uh, the whole population, yung dalawang grupo na yon. Hindi niya kailangan ng hindi niya kailangan kumuha sa bawat isang grupo, kundi yung isang grupo na mismo or dalawang grupo na ang magre-representa ng buong population nila. Okay po, nagets po ang difference sa class at saka certified, the certified na grupo siya pero kukuha ng representante sa bawat grupo. Pero pag sa cluster na grupo sila, pero yung isang mapipiling group ang magre-represent sa buong um sa buong population. Okay? Okay. When we talk about non, uh, type of non-probability sampling naman po, ito yung hindi mo kailangan uh, ng random choosing. Ano ibig sabihin? Ba't hindi mo na kailangan? One example niyan ay yung convenience. Kapag sinabi natin convenience, example, kailangan mo magsasagot, magsasagot ng, ano, ng uh, yung, uh, research. In that case, kung sinong pinakamalapit sa'yo, yun ang ibibigyan mo. Kaya napasok doon sa, napasok sa idea mo, yun ang bibigyan mo. Kahit uh, yung lahat ng pinakamalapit sa'yo o pinakamadali mong makukuha o uh, makakausap na pwedeng pagsagutin ng, ng research mo, yun na lang ang kukunin mo. That is what we call um, non-probability um, convenience. Ibig sabihin, hindi pantay-pantay ang chance ng lahat. Hindi pantay-pantay ang chance na kung ano na lang malapit sa'yo, yun na lang ang bibigyan mo. Okay po? Hindi, mabaga, hindi, hindi, uh, sa probability something, pumupili ka out of marami. Pero ang nangyayari sa non-probability, wala kang choice. Kung sino pinakamalapit, yun na yun. Okay po. Okay. So, in that case, you are to answer the assessment. Sa idea na, sa idea na yun, hope maliwanag naman po yung panagkaiba-iba niya. That is more on an... Um, data lang yung laman po ng ating pong uh, um, chapter na yun. So that's 179. Please answer page 179 to page 180. Okay po. Let's continue. So ngayon, since we're dealing with the uh, data, tandaan natin, if we have our data, we have to um, describe a data. Okay po. Kailangan natin i-describe ang data or ay paliwanag ang data. At ang pinakamadaling paliwanag nga dyan para ma-describe natin ang mga data na nakukuha natin is the mean, variance, at standard deviation. Which I think um, familiar na kayo. Yung mean is the average, variance at standard deviation. Thus, so kung gaano ka-scatter ang ating po mga data. Ano po? But there's a difference dahil nga pumasok tayo sa may idea tayo ng population at saka sample. Okay po, kapag dinidescribe natin ang population, ibig sabihin pagkukuha na natin ang mean, um, ang mean standard deviation at saka variance ng sample, ang tawag po sa tatlong yon ay parameters. And, and, sorry, sorry. Kapag dinidescribe natin ang population, population, ulitin ko ha, pag dinidescribe po natin ang population using um, mean standard deviation at variance, ang tawag po natin doon ay parameters. Pero pag dinidescribe naman natin ang sample ng mean, may, uh, mean um, standard deviation at variance, ang tawag naman po doon ay statistics. Okay po? 
parameters for the population and statistics for our sample. Okay, so I think this is very familiar sa yun yung. Kung mapansin nyo po dito, we have our u, which is our mu, which is our mean. Then we have our theta squared, that is our variance, and our theta, which is standard deviation. Please take note of that kasi magkakaiba-iba sila. Pagdating kasi sa, sa sample, ang mean natin, ang uh, makapansin natin, yung mean dito, ang symbol niya ay yung parang u. That is for parameter, ibig sabihin sa population. Pero pag, uh, pagdating natin sa sample, ang ginagamit natin, um, um, ang ginagamit nating symbol for mean is x bar. Please take note of that. Sa variance naman, sa variance, ang, dinag, ang ginagamit nating uh, um, sum, symbol for variance is theta squared. While sa sample naman is s squared. Then pagdating naman po sa standard deviation, ang ating pong parameter para sa standard deviation which, uh, which is the symbol is the theta while the standard deviation naman ng, ng statistics or for our sample is s lang. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, um, sa various sa standard deviation, pagdating natin sa, sa population, this take note of the word population, okay po, it is very important to take note of the word population. Um, Ang atin pong uh, ilalim ng variance sa standard deviation ay n ang ginagamit natin while pagdating na natin sa standard variance sa standard deviation ng atin pong um, sample ng atin pong sample ay ang ginagamit natin is n minus 1. Okay po. Bakit mo may minus 1 to give way na meron tayong margin of error. Okay po. Okay. So Let's try to solve for the following. So, ito na po yung uh, ito na po yung ating pong um, ito na po yung ating pong mga formula na gagamitin. Okay? Ito na yung mga formula na gagamitin natin. So, let's follow follow muna natin to. Okay? Okay. Okay. So the first thing to do is to divide, uh, to find the mean. Tandaan natin, ang mean pa rin, pare-pareho lang yun, i-add natin ang lahat bago i-divide. Okay po, may kuha nila ko. Okay po. So for example, we have our data from our population which is 94 85 88 79 78 75 89 91 84 and 77 we have to find the mean so ibig sabihin we have to add the following which is 94 plus 85 plus 88 plus 79 plus 78 plus 75, plus 89, plus 91, plus 84, plus 77. Ang nakuha po natin ay 840. So in here, we have to write the total which is 840. But in order to find the mean, in order to find the mean that is 840, divided by kung ilan lahat yan. So ilan ba lahat yan? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 po yan. So that's 840 divided by 10 is 84. So our mean, our mean for our um, population is 84. The next step in order to find the variance and standard deviation is to is to subtract the, the mean from our data yung ginagawa rin natin dati. So bawat isa so subtrahan natin ng 84. So that's 94. That's 94 para na makita ng iba para ginagawa. That's 94 minus 84 is equals to equals to 10. Okay. 
So let's continue lang tayo. That's 85 minus 84. Tandaan natin, the data muna minus the mean. So that's 85 minus 84, that is 1. 88 minus 84, that is 4. I am not mistaken. 79 minus 84, then that becomes negative 5. 78 minus 84, that is negative 14, if I am not mistaken. 78 minus 84, it's negative 6, sorry. Negative 6. Then 75 minus 84, that's negative 9. Then 89 minus 84, that will be 5. 90, 91 minus 84, that will be 7. 84 minus 84, that will be 0. Then 77 minus 84, that will be negative 7. Okay, pop. Next. Upon finding that, we have to square. Kung anong makukuha natin dito, i-square lang natin. So that will be 100. Then this will be 1, 16. Negative 5 times negative 5, that will be positive 25. Then this will be 36. This will be 81. This will be 25. This will be 49. This will be 0 pa rin, and this is 49. Then we have to add that. So that is 100 plus 1 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 plus 81 plus 25 plus 49 plus 49 equals 382. 382. Upon reaching here, pwede na natin siyang gamitin. Kung mapansin nyo, ito yung sum. So, 382. That's 382 divided by ilan yan? Which is our 10. That will be 10. So, that will be, the variance will be 38. So, our variance or theta squared is 38. Upon that, alam natin that this is 38. So, ibig sabihin nito, this is square root of 38. Tandaan, pag standard deviation, that will be two decimal places. Uh, 38.2, sorry. That will be 38.2. Square root of 38.2. What is the square root of 38.2? That will be 6.18. 6.18. So that is our standard deviation or theta. Ito, so basic total of that. So paano ginawa? Kinuha muna natin yung total. Yung total nito. Ang ating po mga data. In order to find the total of the total. Then divided by N. Kung ilan sila lahat. That serve as our mean. Then inisa-isa natin i-minus. Then pagka-minus natin, in-square natin. And finite ang total. Kung pagkakuha natin ng uh, total, kaya pwede natin siyang gamitin sa variance, simply divided by n. So that's 382 divided by 10, that's 38.2, that's your pressure variance. Then yung 38.2, ay, ay, uh, which is halos kapalas lang nito, the, the difference is square root lang. So on standard deviation, the square root of 38.2 is 6.18. Now that you have your standard deviation. Okay po, okay po tayo dyan. So, pasok naman tayo. Just take note of this, ha? This formula is for our population. Population. Ngayon, paano po pag sinabi natin, ang given sa atin ngayon naman ay, pag ang given naman sa atin ay sample. Ibig sabihin, galing sa sample ang mga data. So, paano natin isosolve yun? So, kapag sample, eto, example nito, eto, this is from from a sample. So we have our formula. No, pansin nyo, yung n natin ngayon ay maliit na. Pag n yung, yung dati, pag population, 
um, the number of theta ang ginagamit natin ay malaking n. But this time around, since we're dealing with sample, maliit na n. Ito naman may mga n minus 1. So let's try to solve. So ganun pa rin ang pagkuha ng mean. I-add natin muna. So that's 94 plus 88 plus 79 plus 89 plus 91 plus 84 plus 77. So, that is 602. 602. Double check lang natin para tayo ay maha sure. That's 94 plus 88 plus 79 plus 89 plus 91 plus 84 plus 77. That's 602. Then, ang 602 na yan ay i-divide natin yan kung ilan po ang ating sample. Ilan nga ba ang ating sample? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 602 divided by 7. 602 divided by 7, that will be 86. So now we have our mean represented by x bar for our sample, that will be 86. Ganun pa rin, i-minus pa rin natin ang uh, ating mean sa ating po mga data, our variables. So that's 94 minus 86. That will be 8. Then 88 minus 86. That will be 2. Then we have 79 minus 86. That will be negative 7. Then we have 89 minus 86, that will be 3. Then 91 minus 86, that will be 5. 84 minus 86, that will be negative 2. And 77 minus 86, that will be negative 9. Katulad pa rin ang ginawa natin kanina, i-square natin. So this is 64. This will be 4. This will be 49. That will be positive na kasi negative times negative is positive. Then this will be 9. This will be 5. This will be 4. And this will be 81. Then i-add natin yan. That is 64 plus 4 plus 49 plus 9 plus 5 plus 4 plus 81. The total is 216. Double check lang natin. That is 64 plus 4 plus 49 plus 9 plus 5 plus 4 plus 81 is 216. So having that's 216, pwede na natin siya idiretso dito sa variance. 216 divided by, take total of this as n minus 1, it's 7 minus 1. Ibig sabihin, that's 216 divided by 6. 216 divided by 6, that will be 36. In variance, pinapayagan natin hanggang 4 decimal places. Nagkataon lang na sakto ito, so pwede natin siyang gamitin as 36. Knowing that this is 36, ito na yan, magkatulad itong S at ito, i-square root lang natin. The square root of 36 is... 6. So our S squared is 36 while our S is 6. Clear po tayo? Okay. So ang, ang, ang mismong parehong pareho sa din ng process, the difference lies on the variance standard deviation kasi sa, uh, sa population, we are using N lang. Pero sa, sa sample, we are using N minus 1. Okay po. So I think it's very clear naman kung paano ginagawa siya. With that, this will be your task. That's uh, independent assessment, page 191 to 192. Okay po, independent assessment, page 191 to 192. Last one. So now we are on sampling distribution. So we, um, nakapag sam sampling na tayo, so ano naman population ang mga ano naman yung population at at ito ano probability na lumabas yung mga ang mga mga data na yan. 
So, uh, para maintindihan natin ang sampling distribution, so punta muna tayo sa pinag-aralan natin noong uh, grade 10 tayo, which is the combination. Okay po, the combination. Kasi gagamitin natin siya ngayon, yung combination na yan. And also, the idea of getting the mean. So, if you have your calculate, uh, calculator, it is very easy for you to answer this, which is for combination of two. Sa calculator naman natin, nakikita naman natin yung NCR. Okay, kung wala kang calculator, it is written as N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Okay po. So, sa walang calculator, okay po, uh, para lang tayo ay maalala nyo, C N R is equals to N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Okay. Pero kung may calculator naman kayo, uh, mas madali lang ipindutin yun sa calculator. So, ibig sabihin, madali na yan. So, that's 4 taken 2 at a time. That will be 6. Then we have 6 taken 4 at a time. That will be 15. 5 taken 3 at a time. That will be 10. 3 taken 2 at a time. That will be 3. And 7 taken 5 at a time. So that's, that will be 21. Tandaan combination is a, is a groupings kung saan um, pwede nga ang, uh, ang arrangement ay hindi mahalaga. Okay po, ibig sabihin na itong 4C2, ibig sabihin may apat, na, may apat na data, pwede mong kunin yung dalawang data regardless of the kung sino mauna. Basta sila yung magkasama, okay na yun. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, apat na data yan ang kailangan may dalawang number, kunyari 1, 2, Ang kinuha mo, okay na yun. Ang 1, 2 at 2, two 1 ay isa na yun. Taken as 1 na yun. So, that is combination. Then, when we talk about um, finding the mean, yun naman normal natin kinagawa, which is i-add lang natin divided by kung ilang isa. At sila, katulad nito, 4 plus 7 plus 11, that will be 22 divided by, divided by 3, tatlo sila, so that will be 7.33. I won't deal anymore ng masyado pa dito sa mean. Alam niyo naman kung paano na kinukuha ang mean. Okay po. So binirikan ko lang itong uh, ating pong uh, combination kasi we'll be using that at saka po yung mean. Okay? Let's continue. So so probability, kukuha kayo ng data. So this is an example ng ating pong data. Paano natin siya solve? Example, a population senior high consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, bakit po tayo, bakit pumasok dito yung combination? Kasi may sampling na tayo. So, example, our sample, kung ang population natin ay lima at ang kailangan mo lang ay tatlo, so that will be five combination of three. Okay po, so this, ito yun, five combination of three. So that's, ang ginagamit lang natin is NCN. Ibig sabihin, population and sample. Ilan yung population natin that, uh, that will be N na malaki at ilan yung sample natin kailangan that is three, yung small number N. So ibig sabihin, NCN or 5C3, 5C3, lalabas dyan na ang sample na kailangan natin ay sampo. So we have some po. So ano yung mga sample, ano yung mga combinations sa 1 2 3 4 5 na pwedeng lumabas using the 1 2 3 4 5 na tatluhan. So pwedeng 1 ito ngayon lumabas nakita na natin yung 10 yon na sample which is yung 1 2 3 1 2 4 1 2 5 1 3 4 1 3 5 1 4 5 2 3 4 2 3 5 2, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. Okay po, ito yung sample. Sabi natin, regardless of sino pagkakasunod-sunod, sila yung sa, tap, na tapluhan na out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang gagawin lang natin after finding that sample is to identify its mean. 
So nakuha natin ang, ang mean ng 1, 2, 3 ay 1 plus 2 plus 3, that will be 6, divided by 3, dahil tatlo sila, that will be 2. Ang 1, 2, 4, that's 1 plus 2, 6, uh, 3 plus 4, 7. 7 divided by 3, tatlo sila, that's 2.33. Let's continue with the others. Then that will be 1 plus 2 plus 5, that will be 8. 8 divided by 3, that will be 2.67. Okay. Then 1 plus 3 plus 4, that will be 8. 1 plus 3 plus 4, that will be 8 divided by 3. That will also be 2.67. Let's have 1, 3, 5. 1 plus 3 plus 5, that will be 9 divided by 3. That will be 3. Then we have 1 plus 4 plus 5, that will be 10 divided by 3. That's 3.33. 3.33. Then 2 plus 3 plus 4, that will be 9 divided by 3, that will be 3. That will be 3. Then, adun sunod natin, um, 2 plus 3 plus 5, that will be 10 divided by 3, that's 3.33 again. Three point thirty three again. Then two plus four plus five. That will be eleven divided by three. That's three point sixty seven. That's three point sixty seven. That's three point sixty seven. The last is three plus four plus five. That will be twelve divided by three. That will be four. So nakuha na natin ang min niya. So may iba ibang uri tayo ng min dito. We have two, two point thirty three, two point sixty seven, three, three point thirty three, then three point sixty seven, then four. Eto yon. Inilis ta ko lang. Uh, arrange lang natin. Two, two point thirty three, two point sixty seven, three, three point thirty three, three point sixty seven, and four. Then bibilangin lang natin. Ilan ang may two? So ibig sabihin isa. Ilan ang 2.33? Isa lang din. Ilan ang 2.67? Dalawa. Ilan ang 3? 1, 2. Dalawa din. Ilan ang 3.33? 1, 2, dalawa. Ilan ang 3.67? Isa. At ilan ang 4? Isa. Kung sampu ito, dapat sampu rin ito. 1 plus 1, 2, plus 2, 4, plus 2, 6, plus 2, 8, plus 1, 9, plus 1, 10. So, ibig sabihin na, na nagdagay natin ang frequency. Then, we have to make, so ito nga yun, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1. Then, we'll, this will be our probability. Kasi sampu sila, that is, this is 1 out of 10 or 0. .0. So, continuing, this is 1 out of 10. Or 1.0 also, uh, 1.0, 10, 0.10 pala. Then this will be 2 out of 10 or 0 0.2. This will be 2 out of 10 also. This is 0 0.2. Then this is 2 out of 10 also. This is 0 0.2 then. Then this is 1 out of 10. This is 0.1 or 0.10. Then this is 1 out of 10. This is 0 0.10. Then nakuha na natin yung probability distribution niya. Kung gagawa tayo ng ating pong probability distribution, it will be a number line kasi it's continuous. Paano po ginagawa yun? So you have to write lang yung 2, yung third, 2.33, ito yon 2, 2.33, 2.67, 3, 3.33, 3.67, and 4. Ang tawag po dito ay histogram. Dahil hindi po siya bar graph. Ang pinakaiba ng bar graph, the bar graph kasi yung hindi sila dikit-dikit. Paano kailan ginagamit yung bar graph kapag ang given natin ay discrete? But this time around, it's a continuous number, so this is continuous. Continue siya. So, paano natin lalagay? So, we have 1, 10, 2, 10. Ang paglalagay natin ng bar ay sa gitna. So, two, ang, ang nakakuha ng 2, 
sample na sample natin na means na 2 ay 0.10. So sa pagit uh, sa unahan nasa gitna ang 2. So gumawa tayo ng bar na abot sa 110 yon. Okay? Then this 2.33 we have 0.10 then also. So 110 din yon. Okay po. Then 2.67 ay 2 over 10. So from gitna before 2.67 tataas tayo hanggang 2.67 and so on and so forth. Okay? So ganyan ang paggagawa pag pag ng histogram. Okay po. So again, paano kinuha? The first thing is to find the number of sample. Then find the sample. Pag nakuha na natin yung sample, find the mean. Then arrange the arrange the following according to the mean. Find the frequency. Then find the probability. Then find D. The, and then draw your um, histogram. Okay po. Clear po tayo dyan. I hope it's clear. So let's have another example. So ito po yung uh, ginawa natin. So ang ginawa naman 5C3. So yung pa rin po yun 5C3. So yun nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina n factorial over n pag wala tayong calculator. So that's 10. Hinanap po lahat yan. Hinanap po natin yung mga sample na gamit ang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nakuha po natin yan. Then mean pagkakuha natin ang mean nakuha po natin ang ang ating pong sample ang ating pong sample okay before that example let's have an example lang example natin ay para may clear lang tayo example you have uh, numbers 1 2 3 para mas madali lang tayo para mabigyan ko kayo ng ibang example hindi ko pala ako nakapagsulat dito ng ibang example example natin ay numbers 1, 2, 3 so if I have 1, 2, 3 ang kailangan ko ay dalawa lang so ibig sabihin that, is, that will be 3 combination of 2 2 at a time so that, that is 3C2 3 combination of 2 that will be 3 that will be 3 Anong gagawin natin? Hanapin natin yung mga combination na yun. So ano, ano yung mga sample natin na yun? Tatlo raw yung ina-expect natin na sample. So that will be 1, 2, 1, 3, tsaka po 2, 3. Okay? So the next thing is to look for the mean. Ano yung mean natin? So... 1 plus 2, that will be 3 divided by 2, that's 1.5. Okay, that will be 1.5. 1 plus 3, that will be 4 divided by 2, so that will be 2. Then 2 plus 3 divided by 2 is 2.5. Okay, so we have different means. So gagawa ngayon tayo ng table of sample means. Sample means, we have sample means. Ano yung sample means natin? Nagkataong 1.5, 2, at 2.5. So, tigil ilan yan? Ilan ang 1.5 natin? Ilan ang frequency natin? So, that is 1. This is also 1. This is also 1. Meaning, our data is 1 third, 1 over 3, and 1 over 3. If you would like to change that into probability na decimal, pwede po yun, that will be equals to 0.33 bar. Again, it's repeating. Okay po, that will be 0.33 bar or 0.33 bar. Okay po. Kung gagawa tayo ng histogram, okay, so gawa lang tayo dito, 1, 2, ito mo na yung tatlong given natin which is 1.5 to 2.5. So, example, this is one-third dito. So, kung gagawa tayo ng data dito, hindi natin siya itatapat sa 1.5, kundi before. Then, paabotin natin sa one-third, then ibababa natin sa gitna ng 1.5 at 2. So, ibig sabihin yung 1.5 ay nasa 1 third. Nagkataon na yung 2 naman 
ay 1 third din. So, i-continuous lang natin. 1 third, tapat lang din hanggang doon sa gitna ng 2.5. Then, yung 2.5 naman po ay 1 third din. So, nagkataong pare-pareho lang yan. Then, up. Apat. So, yan lang po ang ating histogram for that. Okay? With that, okay po, I think it's, uh, I hope it's all clear kung paano siya ginagawa. Okay? So, for your doings, ito pong ipapasa natin. Page um, one, uh, page one, 202, which is what's more, all you have to do is using your calculator, I obtain the number of uh, sample. So, you have your calculator with you. So, alamin mo lang yan. So, madali lang. Ko. Ilalagay lang natin na yan sa, sa calculator, then you have your answer naman. So, for your page 203, ito yung medyo matrabaho. Example, we have numbers 1, 4, 3, 2. And the size natin ay dalawa. So, that is 4, four, uh, four combination of 2. Or 4 taken 2 as a time. So, mahanapin nyo muna kung ilan ba yung hinahanap. Then, sample. Then, find the frequency. Then, probability. Pakigawan po ng gagawa rin kayo ng histogram. Also, with independent, which is 4, 5, 6, 7 naman. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ang kailangan niya na ay 3 sample at a time. Ganun din po ang gagawin natin. Hanap po ang sample mean, ang frequency and probability. Then, draw rin po ang ating pong histogram. Okay po, I hope it's all clear. So, good luck everyone. Ang pasa pa naman po nito ay sa lunes. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay. Po. So, if you have any question, I um, message lang kayo. Thank you very much. Goodbye.